Gracias for chancing this watch present. Destination Kerala Sesame Excellence Awards 2018. This is the second edition of this award program. Today's function, Shri K. Jiju IAS, Director, Department of Industries and Commerce, Shri Venugopal C. Gold, MDN CEO, Verma and Verma Country Counters, Shri Vivek Krishna Govind, Senior Partner, Verma and Verma, Sri Khanit, State President, KSSIA, Sri MSA Kumar, President, Thai Kerala, Sri Atul Dhan, Director and Executive Director, Ladies and Gentlemen. This is the second edition of Destination Canada. And I have been fortunate to be present in the first edition. This Destination Canada program is to encourage small and medium entrepreneurs who are working in Canada. There is a perception that Kerala climate, both political and otherwise, is not conducive for running business. But Kerala has its advantages. Kerala may not be conducive for conducting many major industries. But there are certain sectors, especially the small and medium industries, which can function very successfully in Kerala. One is tourism. In tourism industry, Kerala is moving very, very fast. In 2001, when I took charge as the Minister for Tourism, I was one of the few politicians who prefer to do some rather than industrial or health. And many of my colleagues ask me, who are experienced as a member of parliament, why you choose two small uh, departments? One was the fisheries, the other was the tourism. Those days, even these senior IAS officers were not prepared to take charge of these departments. They want some major portfolios with industry, uh, whatever situation. But now the Canada tourism is And our tourism is centered around the villages. And all our village tourism are self-sustaining and self-developing. For example, we have got home stays in the In 2002, when I brought home stays in Kumbalaki, my own village villa. And that village was uh, declared by no other than the then member of the planning commission, Song Park, who came to Kumbalaki. He said, Kumbalaki is going to be developed as a modern So many of my colleagues, as well as the villagers asked me, is Professor Ali going to make Kumbalaki as Goa? I said, no. Our culture, our tradition is quite different from Goa and Kerala will never turn into power government culture. Today, I am coming here after attending two functions which is connected with the development of Kerala. One is the arrival of Jews about 250 years back in the land of Kerala. And we celebrated in the New Zealand, there were about higher than 
Jewish friends from Israel who, who came to Kochi to celebrate their arrival to Hanan years, four and fifty years back. Then we were there the bamboo of part of the it was in 2002-2003, first Bambu festival was started in the town hall of Nagara. And that was a very successful film. What I am suggesting is, tourism has to be potential in Kerala. It does not need much investment, but needs much attention and the cooperation with the local people. So I think that is a sector, especially the women can concentrate. Second comes health tourism. I still remember the days when we went to war shows in Europe. We used to take some pamphlets from our hospital, not only the IVM hospital, but the modern hospitals also. And now we find that there are large number of good, good modern hospitals in Kerala, especially Kochi has become the hub of hospitals of modern science, like Hospital University. Or you see a hospital, Mada, and Nanamari, and the hospitals. So, a large number of hospitals are there. They have become made, and this, these hospitals have become major centers of scientifically developed medical science. Then we have a convention to this. I remember the days when Sir Muhammad Ali started the labor game here about 30 years back. I was teaching in the college when I used to come here for our political activities. I used to talk to my friends here, who is this mad man, talking about the people, who is what he is going to be. But we find that these talented convention producers in Kerala have developed fast. Now we have got the Guru Center in Tuchu, we have got the Guru Center in Kuchu, and the this Guru is Brown Plaza, it's also like everywhere in the Guru. So there are certain centers. Uh, where Kerala can grow. And one is our Kerala working force, which <coughs> intellectual is coming. In. Even though they may bump in for the rights, but productivity is very high. So I think Kerala's climate is slowly, slowly changing. There are certain issues like you know lightning strikes, bump, etc. And now I think some kind of understanding Malayana Nagar has taken an initiative that bugs do not be called uh, uh, very often without any reason for lightning strikes which should be abandoned as much as possible. And all major political parties are coming together. I think a day will come. But such unhealthy practices will not be in Kerala a political scenario and Kerala can move forward. The other is we are going to avoid hard working Kerala's outside Kerala, very hard work. They can do a lot for the development of Kerala. So I think the, the entire Kerala situation, respective of the political, you know, every five year government changes, two year, three year, two year, year, but even with that, the, the approach is almost the same, except sometimes we explore certain issues like Sarvimala. But we are also seeing a situation where when the flood came, the entire Kerala took together as a family. So that is a something unusual. The, the entire community stands together to fight a, a natural calamity. So these plus points and minus points are there, but I think Kerala is a good destination for development. And I welcome all those SME people who have achieved something in their life and we are going to congratulate them. Thank you.